hello guys uh, welcome to the cs2 so in this python tutorial uh, on uh, hot utils we will learn that how to plot curve of growth so curve of growth basically implies that it is the plot of uh, radius r of the galaxy or a star versus the flux in that aperture means this is your aperture 1 to 3 4 and the flux inside that varies with the radius so we have to plot uh, uh, on a simple plot and the and the typical curve of growth can be visualized as uh, as this one you can see that there is a flux and there is a radius of the object on the projected uh, image and the curve of growth goes like uh, this uh, fashion so you can see that the flux is getting saturated uh, from the source as we go outward okay so same thing we have to uh, do for this object okay this object so let's do it okay so for that what you have to do we have to like uh, uh, put some more aperture okay around 20 so what i am going to do i am going to modify my earlier uh, radius of the aperture and call it red np dot lean space 1 to 20 and then 20 aperture of uh, 1 to 20 so this is 20 apertures okay and now if you plot it then it will show 20 aperture okay now see you have got here 20 flux and aperture this is the flux in that uh, aperture and this is the aperture area of that circle similarly we have back like 20 and then you can see that if you if i will zoom it then you can observe that they are like 20 aperture if and it is going outward from the center so you can see that 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and so on so now what we have to do we have to obtain flux and and the radius of this so already we have the flux okay here here is the flux and we have the radius so we have to plot uh, we have to give a plot between radius and its flux okay so this much uh, setup we have now we have to uh, save our flux in in a uh, local variable so for that type here flux dot append and then type here or you can give here variable name it has aperture sum so this will a store if you run it and if you type here flux variable then you can see that it is giving the flux values okay in that variable you can also check the shape if you want in p dot shape of so it is you can see that set 20 okay now you want to plot it you want to you want to plot your uh, so here i can give it plot curve of growth okay so give it as a heading and so now we have we have got flux and 
we have got radius okay so now for that just type plt dot plot give your radius and you can give your say uh, you can give your you can give your flux values okay now so here's a figure type plt dot so and you can oh, something wrong is happening maybe you need to put here plt dot figure and then run it okay okay so here it's you can see that here's your curve of growth so you can see that on x axis we have like 20 radius and on y axis we have flux okay so you can just uh, you can also normalize your flux okay so you can if you do like that divided by np dot max flux and run it then you can see that your flux is normalized okay I mean the maximum flux is 1 so you can see that as we go outward from the source your flux is getting saturated so this would be like the curve growth of an ideal source from the crowded field okay so this way you can uh, plot the curve of growth and it is like very uh, good aspect of your photometry to check like how flux varies with the source then you can give your say title called it curve of growth and you can give your y level call it normalized flux and this is plt dot x level you can give it as a radius and it is in the pixel okay in the pixel form in the pixel scale so here it is now suppose you want to convert your radius in the arc again. So what to do? Just comment it. Type plt dot x level and then give your radius and call it as a arc second arc second and then you have to convert your then you have to convert your uh, pixel a scale to arc second okay so for that you need to uh, do here one thing uh, since you have radius in pixel okay and a scale is a scale in HSS is say one pixel equal to 0 0.39 arc second okay arc 